for setting up and I hope you're all setting up with us. Good idea. We will tell the name of the key of each tune before we start it. So we're just setting up as we always do for the guided session. Our Somerville guided session, we try to go not too fast. We try to play at least three or four times around each tune to give you a chance to really tuck in. Hi folks. Welcome, welcome. And if you are a regular tuner inner, uh, let us know. Let us know what you think of the sound today. I have tried some different stuff. We'll see if it's uh, if it's helping. Hi from Poland. That's oh. so exciting. Um, I'm getting an app here for us to tune to. Here is. I like Poland. Yeah, I like Poland too. There's somebody tuning in from Poland, so you're very welcome here. Here's an A, everybody. Uh, yes, we have moved the piano. The piano is no longer in this room, and so now there are. Plants well, no. in a typewriter. Yes, there are some stand-in plants because I had to dig some things out of the backyard to um, make it look nice and festive. I still have dirt under my fingernails and I'm a little winded from the digging. And I don't think that these are going to read right now. Oh, yes they do. Holy smokes. Look you know, that. to brighten wow. the darker after early afternoons, friends. Here we go. Um, so thank you. Gramahagat. Tapalat. Merci beaucoup. Trugare. Arigato gozaimasu. Muchas gracias. Tinkoya. Dankeschön. Mille grazie. Siese. Mkoi. Kvalabam. Toda. Tusenta. Kamsahamida. Efharisto. Kvalabam. Eskarikasko. Tanya Vad, Kidos, Natenda, Shukran, Mikwech, Yutva, Spasiba, Achehe, Salamat, Tarimakashi, Tioch, Kuzinem, Muito Brigada, Kam Un, Kopzai Laida, Kopkun Naka. Hey! Surprise! Here we are! I put together a surprise welcome video that was a surprise for Matt as well. I know, that was really something. <laughs> it has been really something. Folks, Shannon Heaton here. I'm Matt Heaton. It is March 2024. We started this in March 2020. Some of you have joined for a long time. Some are newer. You're all very welcome to the virtual guided session, which we're continuing on yeah. the third Saturday of every month. Right. This month, this month accepted. notwithstanding, yeah. So a very, very welcome to all of you. Bob in Wisconsin, Jeff in Saratoga Springs, Bill in San Francisco, thanks for joining us. Art in Vermont, Howard in Seattle, welcome, welcome. And Maria in the UK, Mike in Portland, hi in Oakland, California, hi Margie, hi Johnny in LA, hi Jocelyn in Pittsburgh, and happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. How wonderful. We'll celebrate you as well as all of us here in the room. And to Ted in Ontario, to Fell in LA, Allison in Rhode Island, mm -hmm. Kevin in Austin, Texas, Ray in Albany. Sounds like we've got some weather in some places. It's kind of gross here in yeah, Boston totally as well. Gross. And it's warm and sunny at the VGS Island here. Marco and Jeanette, hello in Milano. Hi to Karen in California. Hi, Elena, also in California. Joe, my friend, our friend, hello to you. And to Don in Colorado, to Dieter in Germany, to Arthur in France, hello and happy anniversary to you. Don in Colorado, to Kevin in Ottawa, to Mike in Ohio, to Julie in Tennessee. Hello, VGS sister, nice to have you mm -hmm. here. Aaron in Arizona. Petra, hello and welcome uh, to you in Norway. To Lynn in Connecticut. Hi to Saul in Michigan. Vivian, Steve in Michi in um, uh, Scotland. Welcome, Wes and Julie and Frederick. Larry in Maryland as well. Carrie in Florida. Terry, hello in Wales, thanks for joining us. Tom in Bristol, Tennessee. Gilda. Bonsoir to you, to Mary, and to Hugh, um, uh, and to Kat in uh, York, North Yorkshire, to Kate, uh, to Kathleen in Toronto, to Grania in Kerry, hello my friend, and to Claudia in Argentina. We're delighted that you're here joining us, and we're going to start off with the Colaval Jig, which is a favorite on this island here, a good trad tune with some strong bones. Delighted to play with you in your homes from our home in Medford, Massachusetts. So it's called the Calavel. 
Come on, Shannon, let's put it in the chat here. <laughs> and while I'm pasting it in, John, welcome to you and congratulations to you for years of sessions. To Lorinda in Kentucky, to Oliver in uh, Keltama in Ireland. Hi, John, nice to see you. And Tom in California. Let's collabel, friends. How fast? Not too fast, you know, it's our warm up, right? So, like that? Love it. start for all of us that's been a favorite over the years the Kalaval jig and it has been our favorite over the years to bring this group together a lot of you now we have gotten to meet uh, online through the chat here but also like in zoom classes over the years and zoom hangs in person as we've traveled around and some of you have met one another in real life or have struck up online or long distance correspondences and exchange tunes this is exciting Really this is, is exciting. I love how this music brings us together, and we love these little tunes. So we're going to keep the emphasis on continuing to play together. Um, and so cool now that we can play together in person with our friends. Mm. Kind of nice to keep this going once a month yeah. for people who want to break from the in-person stuff, for people who are home with their kids, for people who don't have a local session or just want something different yeah. or just want to connect with this gang here which is not a virtual community it is a real community mm. that we have built virtually through virtual means right so dat thanks for being part of this we're happy to have you and as always i ask you to weigh in on the mix you've got bionic ears and so we trust you to help us fine tune aga and poland hello and welcome my friend good to have you here john um i think i welcomed you but welcome to you and tom in baltimore i'm glad that you're playing flute with us today shane hello and i believe it's your birthday what? right around this time as well so to jocelyn and to shane this is a special 
Universal VGS indeed. Hi to John in Southern PA. Hi to Dean. Welcome. Thanks for joining us in Illinois and to Douglas in Minneapolis and to Pam in Cambridge. And fine that you're not playing along yet. That uh, listening is definitely um, the most important mm. thing. The ears are the most important part of the Irish music muscle. So good for you. And glad you're joining us. Wonderful always to see you. Elizabeth, nice to have you. Always get the romper room flashbacks when I do the introduction to everybody. And JD, welcome and thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. And um, to um, Spike is asking, Pigtown, Tie the Ribbons, Bag of Spuds. These are all good tunes. We will definitely do them um, maybe even just next month. Um, but for today, we have a tight program plan. So we're going to keep a, it going. A, um, so, but I like Spike Mace is a cool uh, username there. Um, so Michael, wonderful to have you joining us in Colorado. And Phyllis, happy to have you here as well, always. Jolene, thank you uh, for being here. And uh, hello, Le, hello, and welcome to you. Kira, nice uh, uh, to have you joining us on the piano. Nice. I, I didn't realize you were playing the piano, so wonderful. Uh, Mary, I'm glad we're keeping this going as well. So David, I'm glad that Matt sounds okay on your big speakers. Matt sounds great to me. Mm. We're going to keep it going with Miss Monahan's. Uh, Simone, you had reminded me of this great reel. I mean, I know it, but I don't always know the titles of the tunes as they correspond. Um, so we're going to do that, and then we're going to add the man of the house at the end. Is that okay? Yeah, that is great. Um, because that has been a uh, favorite of the VGS. So the first one's in D. Miss Monahan's. The second one, Far From Home. In G. Which we played at the very first VGS. Oh, my God. Far From Home. And the Man of the House was our very first Name Your Tune selection. Kind of ironic for us to play Far From Home when we were sitting in our <laughs> house, but whatever. Yes. yes. <laughs> you know. Oh, and Tauno, you're joining us from Taiwan. Thank you. Uh, I'm so glad to have you here real time with us. What an honor. All right, so here we go. The first one. One, two, not too fast. Oops, sorry. My, my fault. One, two, here we go.
could have gone on all day. <laughs> <laughs> I was just running out of air, so thank you. For yeah, yeah, yeah. Anytime. <laughs> um, Josephine in Germany, wonderful to have you here, and uh, that we got to meet in Ennis. Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, Jr., thank you for uh, joining us for this session, and glad that you value it. And Dominique, hello to you, my friend. Um, Spike, I love that you learned our Mist on the Mountain, copied it by ear. I love this idea of when you hear a tune that really lights you up and you hear a way of playing that tune that lights you up, just to learn it, just the way that person played it. That's what we've always done over the years. And um, then anytime you play that tune, you think of the person you learned it from. Very cool to have those associations built in. Roxanne, I know you've been playing the flute for four years. So exciting. I've been playing for longer than four years, and I wish that I were better at it by now as well. I know the <laughs> feeling. Um, Claudia in Chicago, welcome to you. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you and other folks yeah. in Chicago. We're going to be traveling all over the place in April. So check mattandshannonheaton.com for the tour sketch. Um, you know, the Twin Cities, Chicago. Yeah. The Twin Cities, that's Minneapolis and St. Paul, Minnesota. Yeah. We're for those really of you. We're playing in one of them. But. Yeah. <laughs> we're playing in St. Yeah. Paul. Um, <laughs> yes, but we're going to be playing all along, and I'm doing a few solo things too, and almost all of our gigs, we're going to incorporate a session before or after, which is very exciting. Get a chance to connect with folks directly. Donna, welcome, and I guess I'll get to see you, I think, in Michigan. Dap, thanks for weighing in on the mix, and glad that it's better now. So um, this is really a lot of fun. Thanks for honoring us by showing up in real time to celebrate four years of doing this together. Very exciting. To Brian in Peoria, welcome. To Rune in Denmark, welcome, welcome. I'm glad that the VGS database is helpful for you. And Clayton Cook is amazing yeah. for building that. If, if you don't know, um, if you're newer or just haven't, haven't delved in, the there is this incredible database of every flipping tune that has been played over the four years we've been doing this and you can just like search it up you know by tune type or title or whatever and then it it takes you to the actual video it's ridiculous and you can find all the links everything yeah. at shannon heaton music dot com that's mm. the that's the that's place the, that i should send you i guess yeah, yeah. yeah the clearing house everything's mm. there um and matt in france hello bonsoir to you thank you for joining us and so maybe we played the wrong tune maybe it wasn't even miss monahan but that's the many, one that we many know around there. Who knows? <laughs> and to petter welcome i'm so glad that you're here today we have a special surprise uh written by you later on and to Dwayne, welcome welcome i know i think of you uh with man of the house i know you and aga i know um have I've learned that tune, I think, over the years. I think Aga, but I'm sure I remember, Dwayne, you working on that tune. So happy to have you here. And um, let's see, to, uh, I'm, I'm the, the, the chat is jumping around The here. chat is jumping around. Yeah, anyway, so happy to have you. What's next on tap, Matt Next, Hayden? it's time for some jigs. Great, it's time for some great. Jigs. We were going to do the Sunny Hills of Barra. Well, we are going to do the Sunny Hills of Barra, and, uh, which is a, a, a favorite of the VGS, and we thought we'd better do the one that goes before it. I know. For years now, Grania, you would mention to me that we should do Fox in the Thatch, and that's another John Dwyer composition. And I always had heard it in F, and I thought that would be too... Um, eccentric for the VGS, but then I realized just like the Sunny Hills of Barra that he wrote in G minor, mm. we could put this one up a step too. So we'll do Fox and the Thatch in G into the beautiful Sunny Hills of Barra that I always associate with the VGS. Like that's just a gorgeous tune that was requested early on and that we learned and um, have played ever since. Into the Rolling Waves, another amazing VGS favorite. I think, David, that you um, got a welcome. But anyway, I'm excited that you've been playing flute for about a year and delighted if we can inspire you here in any way. So here we go. The first one. Into the beautiful Sunny Hills of Barrow. Die to do 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 One, two, here we go.
Some pretty tunes. Very pretty some tunes. Class tunes there. Very pretty tunes. I do feel like we are playing them with all of ye. I can just imagine. I can hear some of you. I know some of you. Like I know exactly how you play, and I can imagine us playing them together. And we were pretty well in tune there. <laughs> and also, John in Wisconsin. I love that you are participating, and I love that you acknowledge you're participating by listening, not playing along. That is a beautiful way to participate, even when you know the tunes. Even when you're a great player, a great way, I think, to take in this music is to listen to it and listen to it in the company of other players. So wonderful, wonderful. I love that. And Spike, yes, absolutely. I'll put a list of all the sets in the description at the end of the session once we finish. And then with the help of Nancy every month. Thank you, Nancy. Um, we also timestamp them, the sets. Yeah. So, um, and then they feed easier. into wonderful Clayton's database. So it is a real team community effort. And it's even a lot easier than fast forwarding through cassettes, let me tell you. <laughs> Even if we could do it all on our own, it wouldn't be as special. Yeah. So thank you for being part of the party here. Tim, I'm glad you're here. You're here right on time. And Jim, oh, I'm so glad to have you here in real time with us. Hello in, uh, um, in, in, mm-hmm. you're in Newcastle? Newcastle, amazing. anyway. Amazing. Um, amazing to have everybody here. Amazing this to is remember where everybody's from. Super, super special. I, I, my mind is not as quick today. I think I'm a little overcome, a little emotional. Yeah. I am. I am. Um, Claudia, I'm glad you think it's awesome. I think it's awesome too. Uh, so carrying on, we're going to try uh, some, hornpipes. some hornpipes. hornpipes. And I believe that at one point, I remember at one point, um, <laughs> Here I go. Um, that Shane, you requested a hornpipe written by Charlie Lennon. I don't remember if it was Dance of the Honeybees or if it was the other one. But um, we're going to play the Dance of the Honeybees and send it out to you into a classic Rights of Man, a well known, beloved. Dance of the Honeybees is a little more eccentric. It's a beautiful hornpipe composition by the great Charlie Lennon. So, uh, that one first. Mm. One. Yeah. You want bumps? Sure. Maybe a little slower. Okay.
Ray says the sound is good, but the light is a little too bright. Should we close those top ones? Do you think would that help or not? Nah? Yeah, it might. No, it might. We could turn off that. Turn off what? The overhead. The overhead? Yeah. Let's try it. Hey! Hey! That looks better. Thanks, yeah, Ray. Yeah. See what I mean? I know. The community, the takes hive a, mind. It does. It takes it's all a of us. Village. <laughs> and thanks for asking about whether we're coming to when we're coming to California or Texas or beyond. I mean, things are always added. So I'll, I'll be at the North Texas. No, at the um, at the O'Flaherty retreat. That's in right in October. October. Which isn't, you know, the same thing as us doing a gig, but I'll be there. Yes, a wonderful chance to hang out with Matt for the long weekend down at the O'Flaherty Retreat. And we'll be at, you know, uh, Bar Harbor, Maine. We'll be in Goderich, Ontario. We'll be in Kingston, New Mexico. In mm -hmm. yeah. All over the here, place. Here and there. ShannonHeatonMusic.com. Yeah, that's that's right. where we post the updates. Um, and I know how it is, Arthur. Like, you only have half the sets and sessions. I know lots and lots and lots of tunes, and there are still many occasions where I go and I don't know the tunes that are being played and I love that I love getting to always learn new tunes and uh, always kind of be immersed and even overwhelmed you know by the just the mm. sheer uh, community input right yeah. people are always learning new tunes and sharing new tunes and writing new tunes it's just like this living document that is wild and, and there's a lot of untamable <laughs> Uh, Niall, welcome to you and thanks for joining us. Speaking of being in wonderful sessions where uh, we get inspired, I was once again over in Clare um, and had a chance to play some tunes with friends in Tulla. Uh, and after our wonderful um, evening together, I wrote this tune called Tins in the Alley to commemorate a neighbor of theirs who had had a terrible demise. The poor guy had a really hard time in life, I think, mm -hmm. um, and really... Um, you know, was a real hoarder, and there were tons of tins in his alley. Um, but the place where he used to, where he lived, um, it was an abandoned building that he had taken over, and the place where he spent his final days was the old library. And oh. so we're going to go into a tune written by our friend Peter Führer. We're going to uh, play a tune that he doesn't have a name for. We're calling it the old library. So we're <laughs> going to try that for you. Um, first, before we do, just a quick welcome now here to um, Jaden. Wonderful that you're joining us. It's always a pleasure when you can join uh, for a moment uh, live later on. So happy to be connected with you over these years. And we did a wonderful collaboration a while ago with Jaden. That was so sweet. We should share that again on the VGS page. Mm. That was so special. And Jeff, uh, when you don't know a tune, be quiet and listen. Love that. That is great session etiquette, right? It's just like being in a conversation. If you don't know what's happening, maybe you ask, hey, what's happening? And then you listen. I love this. I love this. And Addison, wonderful. I'm glad that that's where you started playing. That's hey. exciting. Really great. So this is our so, offertory selection for you. Shall I do the thing? Sure. Yeah. So if you, um, as we, you know, this thing started out as a pandemic project, but, uh, and now it is just a, a thing that we love doing. And we, once a, you know, once a month, we do a set of tunes for you that if you would, and pass the virtual tip hat around so if you would like to uh, if you feel like contributing something uh, there is a PayPal link and a Venmo link um, and we thank you but you are contributing by just merely being here absolutely and uh, but now we'll play these tunes yeah mm. um, okay. one two <laughs>
it goes from a jig that last one by petter goes from jig time into slip jig time in the b part and then back again to the six eight very cool um i enjoyed that very much and thanks for letting us play it and play around with the name as well we'll find out what the real name is yeah. at some point and douglas i love that you're saying the vgs provides a safe place to noodle um, and a follow-up to this question, Jeff's question about is the proper session etiquette when you don't know a tune to be quiet and listen? Yes, please, right? Be quiet and listen. If you just noodle, you're not going to hear the tune and learn it, and you're going to interrupt those who know it. That said, when we're in a safe place, when we're in maybe a louder place, especially when we're in like a teaching week situation, I think we can balance that proper etiquette mm -hmm. with a little bit of maybe dipping your toes in maybe you listen the first time around maybe the second time you're trying to find a few notes you know context is everything isn't it and I think um, it's great to also just try sometimes too and maybe you'll pick up a few notes you can't just blindly whack away at all the tunes and expect to get them but you know when you feel like maybe you got a little grasp I think it's yeah. okay yeah especially in the right circumstance right yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, not well. three people in a quiet pub they're really playing tightly together and then you're just whinging away <laughs> you know now that's really a drag whinging but you know yeah. there are eight of us we're friends we're playing you know something that maybe you can wrap your ear around mm. maybe try yeah. try try mm -hmm. definitely here um is a good place to try stuff so you know there's balance and everything so a place that we have been learning uh, tunes with this community members of this community um, our tune zooms, which are paused until fall, but they're amazing. We get together and we just spend an hour combing through one tune, like phrase by phrase, and by the end we learn it. And it's pretty cool. Uh, we learned Imelda Rowland's favorite this uh, time around, so we're gonna try that. Into the Shaskeen, which is a fave, into the Abbey Reel, which is the tune of the month this month. Um, before we do this, a big, um, Thank you now to uh, to Niall in Berlin. I'm so glad that you're enjoying the tunes. Green Fields of Woodford is a beautiful tune, and we'll do it next month. Um, today, we don't have much time, so we're trying to get it all in here. Um, so uh, how about Petter's tune, though? Mike, That's exciting, right? Mike, Mike says, read the room. I say, is that a tune? <laughs> it sounds like a tune. <laughs> so Imelda Rowland's favorite was written by, I wrote it down, by uh, Raymond Rowland. And Raymond was an accordion player, so was his brother. And Raymond and his brother, I can't remember his name, their mom whistled. She was a fantastic whistler. Not a whistle player, but a whistler. She whistled. Mm -hmm. And Raymond loved the way that his mom whistled tunes. And so he wrote this tune for her, imagining her whistling. So oh, there's some little turns that are really sweet in it. And Raymond was from Crockwell mm -hmm. in County Galway, where wow. we spent many a winter. So first tune. So you're very welcome, all you tune zoomers, to play this with us into the Shaskeen into yeah down thanks all that's right it was Oliver one two here we go
I had an idea that I was going to go up to a high E. Oh, yeah. Which didn't really make any sense and which I really couldn't manage. And then uh, the room sort of went away for a second. That was an amazing moment. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for joining me on that journey. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for having us. Oh, Sergio, nice to have you joining us from Italy. Hope you and the family are very well. And George, welcome to you. Thank you for stopping by from Ireland. Happy to have you here. We're going to play Fig for a Kiss. Mm. This is the first tune of the very first VGS. Oh my God. We had no idea what was happening. We had no idea what we were doing. That much is still true. Yeah. Um, and now we're all doing it together. So there we go. Um, let's try. Into. Which we call Redican's mother. It's also known as Ryan's and the Fisherman's something. <laughs> One, two, three, nice. Oh, you want to but there were four measures that idea was very inspired <laughs> very nice you know what I'm talking about uh, yeah I think so Maybe. in the last right. B part oh in the last nice. one yeah, beautiful. Yeah. beautiful beautiful we tried. We beautiful tried. beautiful and Charles hi in Chicago nice to see you hope we're gonna see you in April as well exciting happy early Easter to you Michael and uh, Grania yes when are the time zones matching up again I am chuffed that uh, we have friends joining us from Europe and from Ireland that you did remember um, because it's very confusing when the US changes time zones and then you don't or you know the daylight saving thing it's very confusing next month we'll be back on the third Saturday of April and it will indeed be 
match it up. Yeah. U.S. time. And everybody everybody will, will be on daylight it saving. It'll be great. Right? Yep. I guess. Is that true? Uh, Solve, uh, sort of Pretty sure. Pretty sure. <laughs> yep. And Peter, welcome. I'm glad that you made it in San Diego. Happy always to have you joining us and hope you had a good Patty's uh, experience. Where, did you have something to add, Maddie? Oh, I just, it, it's kind of a non sequitur, but I'm, I'm sort of shocked that, that, that uh, nobody's mentioned the uh, solar eclipse yet. Oh, That'll yeah. be kind of exciting. Oh, yeah, that's right? coming up, you too. going to go get your glasses? I know. There's just so much. There's so I much. Know. There's so much to I mention. Know. Okay, we're going to try <laughs> The Otter's Holt. Mm -hmm. That's a favorite for folks here. Mm -hmm. Written by Junior Crean. He wrote it in E minor, and he wrote it single. I got to say, it's better doubled. Mm -hmm. And I don't always feel that way, but in this case, tis. Mm. Um, into Ships Are Sailing, which we also played at the very first VGS. Wow. And Diana, you made it too. Nice to have you joining us in real time for a moment. And uh, we're going to bring on the sun with the Otter's Holt and ships are sailing. Jim, it is really nice to have the extra uh, hour of daylight, I gotta say. We'll get there soon. Uh, okay. Mm. You count. One, two, three, four.
I, I saw a little a little guitar chat. May I address the guitar chat? Please. Uh, so yes, I am in standard tuning. And um, good eye. This guitar it, it looks it's it's a twelve fret, um, which it's it looks a little more like a classical guitar because the um, the neck is not as as long. So it's kind of has that has that vibe. It's not totally. A, it's not a classical body shape exactly, but it's it's a it is it is a wee guitar. We, it's beautiful. It is it's beautiful. beautiful. It's a guitar. golden guitar. It's a great guitar. I love, I love it. Christian, you made it. And welcome, welcome, welcome to you. And Dap, yes, you're right. The day of the solar eclipse. Oh my gosh, that's when you're doing your concert in Dallas, Texas. Oops. I hope it goes great. And I'll bet there are going to, I see it. Right I bet there are going to be numerous people there who love it. I, do um, see I wish we could be there. You can tell Peter is back. Signs in otter space. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so before we play One for the Road. All right. I, do we have time? I think I think we have time. Sure. Made of Selma. Oh, yeah. Made of Selma. Guys, this little oasis, this beautiful, sweet community, I will forever associate it with the Made of Selma. And, you know, over the years we've learned the story of Selma. Selma, Selma, Selma uh, is a place named in James McPherson's uh, bardic poems. He found these third century poems the Scottish poet found in the 1700s. He found these early, early poems that mention Selma, this mythical, beautiful place, like our mythical, beautiful mm. place, our oasis, our virtual guided session. Well, it turns out that he made the whole thing up, and these were like his own poems that he had written. But still, he wrote them, and he wrote them, and he named this place Selma. That's where Selma, Alabama got its name. So anyway, let's play Made of Selma, just twice around, one more time. Come on, Kyle, come on. transports me so I looked at you because I was lost for yeah. a second I didn't yeah. know did yeah, we do yeah, the yeah. B part already that's why I looked I realized at you that too late to do anything uh, about it was I right yeah you're right oh you're good right. good yeah. um, and I so associate the Maid of Sama with this group here so Jim you said this place is home away from home mm -hmm. you have literally traveled halfway around the world yeah. on this group indeed we met you when you were back in Zimbabwe and now you're in Newcastle and this has been an amazing four years, for sure, um, and nice to have some constants and nice to have some very positive things come out of this time. So a big, big, big thank you out once again as I began. Thank you very much. Thank Merci beaucoup. Trugare. Arigato gozaimasu. For joining us here. Muchas gracias. Cinquaya. Dankeschön. Mille grazie for being so wonderful and for inspiring us and one another. Cheche. Mgoi, Kvalavam, Toda, Tuzentak, Kamsa Hamida, Efharisto, Kvalavam, for investing your time in learning something that is not easy. Good for you for doing it. Eskerikasko, Tanyavad, Gidos, Ndatenda, for meeting us here from so many different countries in English. You're amazing. Shukran, Miigwech, Yudva, Spasiba, Achehe, Salamat, Karimakashi, Dioch. 
Pearson Nam. Muito obrigada for being so kind and encouraging to us Heatons. Gam Eun. Kop Kun Naka. Kop Zai Lai De. Ai Ta. Thank you so much, everybody. We're going to end with She Beg She More. Uh, and we will be back on the third Saturday of April. 2 p.m. Boston time, as always, and uh, wonderful to have you joining us in Greece. To those of you, especially in Europe and Ireland, mm. who maybe are tuning in later on because your daylight saving hasn't mm. kicked in, um, to all of you who are in the chat who haven't um, said anything but you're here, um, to all of you who are uh, joining us in the chat, all of you, you're so very welcome here. We're so appreciative uh, for people taking the time to make something together, you know? Mm. Like it takes effort to show up and uh, it, it means something. It does to us anyway, at least to two people in the world. Yeah. So <laughs> thanks. She begs you more and uh, we look forward to more. Did you have anything to add? Uh, nothing, nothing very interesting. No, thank you. Yeah, I, I don't have anything to add. You, you said it all. everyone.